we supposed to get rid of a body around here? All these people everywhere. Stop bloody talking about it. About what? Buddy. Just calm down. Danny. I don't think you realise how much trouble that we're in. And let me just tell you, it is highly unlikely that we're going to get away with this. Thanks for reminding me. I didn't ask for any of this, you know. You know, you didn't find it in my bed, did you? I didn't have to come here, you know. I could have called the police. Yeah, I could have rung the police, but no. No, I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm here with you, like I'm with you with everything. Cuddle. I think we should get out of this place because it's not working, is it? I can't do any more, Joe. I need to sit down. Oh, come on, we've only just started. Get up! I wasn't cut out to be a murderer. Let's hand ourselves in. I'll say... I'll say it was all my fault. That I made you do it. Well, let's go home. Let's go to prison. Anywhere. Just not here. Come on, mate. Look, we're nearly there now. If we just get this little bit done here, we can forget about this whole horrible thing and get on with our lives. Why couldn't this happen on a Thursday? We could have put it out for the bin men. <laughs> Listen, Dan. No, no, I'm sorry, didn't you, mate? I just never expected this when I woke up this morning. Oh, I know, mate. I know. Sorted. Come on in. Let's go. Let's see. They're laughing. Sorry. I mean coffee. My two best friends. My name is Jessica Whitman. But I always imagined that if we met, you'd call me Jesse. Firstly, I'd like to apologise if my unexpected appearance at your home as to cause you any stress or anxiety. This was not my intention. Secondly, I'd like to assure you that under no circumstances will you be held accountable for my untimely death as this was entirely my own doing. The bitch killed herself. Okay. I'm sure I'm you're wondering, wondering why I've chosen your home as the place to carry out my act of gross selfishness. I have been a most unhappy woman for many, many years, and so I have decided to put an end to my miserable existence. 
I've watched you both from afar now for almost a year. Every Friday I allow myself to visit the dirty little pub you call your local and I imagine what it would be like to live my life as you two. So simple, so happy, so carefree. An existence such as yours is one to be admired. Therein lies the reason why I've never made my presence known to you. Until, Until now, of now, course. Of course. You're laughing and joking. Your silly boyish tricks. <laughs> your unashamed passion for life will bring me so much comfort in my lonely world. I've always been too busy with my work to find the time for love or happiness. That's not to say I haven't been successful in other areas. I've worked relentlessly to become the best in everything I do in life and I happen to be a very successful businesswoman. But that has come as a price. All the money in the world could never replace the feeling of being loved. In life there are paths we take and paths we don't. I've amassed quite a large amount of money, all of which I want you, my best friends, to have and to enjoy, providing of course you want me in death as you never had the opportunity to in life. Jeremy, I want you to arrange my funeral. I would like it to be classy, please, not too formal, and with as many guests as possible. And for this, I will pay you the sum of six million pounds. Daniel, as I imagine you two will have some input in the planning, you will receive the remaining two, two million pounds of my fortune. All this has been arranged with my lawyers and everything is in place. I ask you to enjoy the money, use it wisely. wisely. If anyone is proof that money doesn't bring you happiness, then it's me. Stay happy. All my love, Jessica. Six million pounds. Yeah. What makes you so special? Why do you get most? Oh, shut up, shit. Let's get going. Come on. Get out that door. Get going. Get out. Go, go, go. Oi, dipshit. <laughs>